Buffalo. Hey. It's, uh, so what do you want me to say here? Can you read the prompt, please? Can I justify eating animals? Sure. If I, based off the practicality of it, if I have to, then I will. But you don't have to. You don't have to eat animals, do you? I don't have to. You're right. I don't have to. Okay, great. So what justifies slaughtering animals? What justifies slaughtering animals? Am I the one slaughtering them? You're paying for it. That doesn't mean I'm the one slaughtering them. Okay. So you don't think you're responsible for slaughtering animals, correct? No, I do not. Because you're, you're not paying for it. Okay. So if I pay a hitman to, if I'm a mafia member and I and I pay a hitman to murder somebody, am I responsible for that murder? False equivalence. What's yeah. the difference? You're paying someone to murder an animal. Oh, <laughs> What's see, the difference? Here's, see, here's the thing, right? Because you're equating to to su superficial things that are a realm out of people's control. So, like for example, right? The government takes taxes out of your paycheck, right? And now if the government misuses that money, right, via co corruption, is that the people's fault? By your That's logic, awesome it would about, be. Sir. Get, let's get back on track here. Oh, but, but by your logic, it would be the people's fault, right? Because the government takes no, the taxes that we what work I, what for. What I'm saying in this particular example where you're using your money to pay for somebody slaughtering, to slaughter an animal. That's equivalent to somebody paying a hitman to slaughter, to kill a yeah, person. Yeah, but that's not exactly what happens. In those happens. circumstances, there's no difference in my eyes. Yeah, but that's not what it's, that's not what's happening. That it is what's happening. What's you happening are paying, to these animals is... paying somebody to slaughter an animal, even though you don't have to do it. You don't have to. In the case of the taxes, I'd have no choice. But in the case of you eating animals, you do have a choice. Actually... No, you do have the choice to not pay taxes in this country. You could just leave the country. So again, that's a lie. But then the next country you pay taxes there, right? I mean, there are countries where you don't have to pay taxes. There are areas where you don't have to pay taxes. But it's not. It would be practical for everybody to stop living in society and stop and live in the wilderness. That would uh, not but, be practical. Uh, that, that wouldn't matter. Your so claim is that you it does matter because within the realms of veganism, we talk about things that are practical, right? We're never going to say you must be perfect in every case. Of course not. So you're, you're appealing to some extreme scenario when we're talking about reality here. In reality, taxes are needed. If you don't have them, you don't have a country. So, but it, when it comes to an animal product, you do have a reason to slaughter an animal. You don't have a reason to slaughter an animal. So that's why you have a choice to change for the better, but you're and not why, doing it. And why ought I do this? Because you're posing an ought. I'm asking you to explain why you don't do it yes because it's a personal choice that i have made okay but so can grape be a personal choice so mm -hmm. can and murder then the, be a personal choice yes and that is the consequence that 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 said grapist will face no see you have used personal choice as a justification yes. to slaughter, to slaughter an animal so would you let's see if this holds up right mm -hmm. uh, i'm gonna grape somebody because it's my choice I can do it, so I should do it. Is that be, would that be okay? A good justification for you because it's my choice to grape. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, because really? I know really? you know why you, you know you why think it's because good for I know that to I know action. You think it's good for people to choose to grape? I think it's good for people to make a choice. Yes, that's because not what I asked you, champ, Champagne. I asked, you, not make a choice? I asked you if somebody used the justification of personal choice to grape somebody, would that be a good reason to, to grape? I mean, if you know, but if you want to make that choice, that's fine. Okay. Again, I told you, actions have consequences. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's absurd. That's absurd. Hello. Hi. How are you today? Impatient. Sorry. Sorry. Imp impatient. Impatient? What's going on? I can't stand non-vegans. What do you got? Well, yeah. Um, well, then you probably wouldn't be able to stand me, but I actually did uh, used to be vegan. Um, however, because I have like an ED, 
sometimes like having any restrictions on my food kind of makes my ed worse if that makes sense and there are like a lot of medical conditions in which people literally cannot be vegan right um there are some chronic illnesses in which you like need to have fish in order to you know maintain certain levels of fats in your body and things like that so there's you know like I think that it's good to be vegan. I think it's good for the environment. Yeah. So, um, Autumn, Autumn, uh, what do you think veganism means? Yeah, so veganism is pretty much just having a diet uh, in which you don't eat animal products. No, um, that, that's not what veganism means, right? So you're critiquing something that you don't even understand. Right? You I have used to, to be vegan. No, hold, hold on. <laughs> what are no, you talking you, about? No, 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 no. You, you haven't grasped the philosophical uh, aspect of veganism. It's not a diet, right? So you were, you're likely plant-based, but you were not vegan and ethical vegan. Um, so again, I understand you might have an ED. Um, the problem is that you can still do the best you can with what you have. And that's what veganism means. So you can still be vegan. Anybody can be vegan, no matter their medical, uh, situation. Everybody can be vegan. That's so not true. Do the best you can. That's um, simply a lie, actually. Yet you, you know what's in baby know, formula? You don't even understand what veganism means. What's in baby formula? A uh, fortified substance that's given to babies. Yeah. And also, you know, animal products. Yeah. There, are vegan, there are vegan baby formulas. What's your point? Where are the vegan baby formulas? There's thousands out there. Just go look them up. They're vegan everything. There's no excuses anymore. Yeah, but they probably cost more, correct? Not everybody can afford to be vegan. Again. Well, first of all, veganism, uh, again, is not a diet that you have to abide by. Okay, well, wait, wait. Can you, yeah, explain Second to me what ball, veganism vegan is. Foods, like, what on, is the definition not, of veganism? Hold on, Autumn, hold on. Vegan foods are typically cheaper. Pastas, beans, rices. Those are some of the cheapest foods on the planet. So you don't have to consume those expensive things. You can consume the more cheaper things if you have to. On average, meat is more pricey than vegan foods. But um, again, veganism is not about being perfect. It's about being the best you can, doing the best you can. Yeah, so I, I'm pretty sure that there's a reason that there's a difference between like pescatarian individuals and vegetarian individuals and vegan individuals you know i was a part of these spaces for a really long time you know i was vegan for over five years um which yeah pretty unfortunate like if you think about why it did you, why did you go vegan so originally um i went vegan um because of the animals right and okay. obviously i saw videos of like what was happening in slaughterhouses you know what i'm talking about okay, like so I... you were so when you were vegan did you have that disorder eating disorder uh not when i originally started no oh really so the eating disorder just randomly happened after you went i mean vegan. yeah that's kind of how eating disorders work because i was it 11. After, when... so it, it happened after you went vegan yes and that's why I had to <laughs> okay. stop being. Oh, okay. So maybe going back to veganism would be better for you, but. Um, no, um, it was while I was vegan, like, and it was also, it had a lot, it had less to do with okay, the vegan you're, diet. You're, it you're didn't have anything to do with yourself. the vegan diet. I don't However, I used the I vegan diet to avoid eating in a lot of situations and used it as an excuse. And people really couldn't call me out on it because it's like, oh, she's, you know, vegan. Uh, you know look, I don't mean? think you have a coherent story here. But second what of all, what are you talking about? People, I just Autumn, Autumn. Look, if you really care about the animals, go talk to people with your kind of disorder, and you can get more insight on how to become, how to how to diet better, and be more ethical, right? So the point is, if you really care about the animals as you say you do, then you would try your best to change. Anybody can. Okay. No, you just aren't willing to engage in this conversation because it's uncomfortable for you, but that's okay. You can feel free to kick me, but I definitely think it's an important conversation to have, right? Is look, it not? Look, look, at the end of the day, you think it's okay to slaughter and abuse animals, right? What justifies that? I didn't say it was okay. You're like, right. I'm, so I, I support so vegans. Why do you support slaughter and abuse? 
I don't support it. Nobody supports it, okay? Really? You don't think people who pay for animals to be stuffed in gas chambers, you don't think that's supporting death and slaughter of animals? Yeah, it is really bad. Okay, let me keep it real. It is really bad, you know, how we how we treat animals in order to... Okay, so then why do but you do But here's the problem. That? Here's the problem. These dietary restrictions don't work for everybody. It's not a restriction. Look, Autumn, do you think it's okay to eat people? Obviously not. Is your diet restricted because that because of that? No, because we don't have like oh, people on menus exactly, and stuff. Exactly, exactly. So the restrictions are arbitrary. People aren't They're on arbitrary. menus in restaurants. You're restricting yourself. There's no reason. There's no law of nature that says you can't. You have to eat animals. That's nonsense. So let's let's work with what you have here. You have the ability to make an effort to do better, don't you? Again, I'm I'm just concerned about literally what would happen if I tried to put any restrictions on my diet. Again, it's not a diet. You keep going back to this diet thing. No, like any level of restrictions. Which would in like Ooh. that's what it comes with, right? Ooh. Restrictions. No, so to me, it's hard. Not to, eating certain to things. Me, I don't to not see it as a restriction. Things. To me, there is no restriction. Just like it's not, I'm not restricted from eating people, right? It's just not part of my calculus. It's not a restriction to not be able to eat people. Just like it's not a restriction to not being able to eat animals. Again, people are not on menus at restaurants. What are you talking neither, about? There are dogs. Do you think it's okay to eat dogs? Are you restricted because you can't eat dogs? Well, again, they are on. <laughs> yeah, again, yeah. Um, but okay, so yeah, I don't know what you're talking. So look, this is not any different. Again, like, these these restrictions are arbitrary. They've been normalized. And, and look, I think you should look. You're you're trying to be honest. I can tell you're trying to be honest here. But if you really cared, you would make a bit more effort in talking to people and experts and nutritionists and doctors about this scenario. I mean, have you talked we to any? I've never talked to a nutritionist before. Have you talked to a plant-based nutritionist that that could have uh, told you more about how to be vegan? There's none in my area. Okay. I did I, I ask for up, that actually because I was vegan when I had my eating disorder when I started my eating disorder. So that's specifically yeah. who I sought out, but we didn't have any in the area. Yeah. So I would I would definitely try to look for that those type of people online or something. You can go on challenge22.com. They have the you can it's free advice there. Um, yeah, I, would I don't really want. I would definitely, because... I would definitely, I would definitely take more effort into trying to do better in terms of your ethic, ethics, um, because oh, you oh. know it's wrong to harm animals. You, you know it's harm to slaughter a pig or cow. You know what's mm -hmm. wrong. Yeah. So let's you know, let's try a bit harder here. If you really care, mm -hmm. and yes, of course, if you understand about the environment, you, you it's a mm -hmm. double. Uh, yeah. Double reason to, to be vegan. Yeah, truly. I don't, truly. Have, I don't think you really have that much of an excuse as you think you do. Yeah, I mean, I'm just like worried about it. I don't know. And that's kind of the reason I don't put any restrictions on my diet. Um, and I feel like that's very Except true. Except for, for a dogs lot of and humans and all the other animals and cats and all the other animals you love, right? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I love cows. I'll cuddle a cow, you know what I mean? <laughs> So why would you kill them and slaughter them? Makes no sense. I'm not directly doing that. That's your excuse? You're not directly doing it? You're paying for it. You're, you're causing more cows to be slaughtered. Well, that is true, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not that like I don't care, it's just like, I'm just, I'm worried about how it would affect me. And I feel like I'm the most important person in my life. I, I, I agree, Autumn. I agree. You, your well-being comes first, of course. But you can do better. We already know you can do better because you told us you haven't really seeked as much help as you as we thought you did. So um, I, I seeked a lot of help. Go I learn. was literally an go inpatient for like a year. <laughs> go learn. Go do the research. Go talk to experts more. Go talk to plant-based nutritionists out there who can help you. Right. Again, it, it just takes you caring. You already have the care. You have the empathy. It's just time you do the, the work. Okay. Have a good day.
How's it going, man? Die. So after listening to you, I must be highly confused on exactly what veganism is. Could I get a the ten cent tour? Because I'm like horribly confused, I guess. <laughs> Why would you come up here and not even know what you're critiquing or debating about? That, that well, no, 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 no. From, from, from what my understanding is, is apparently extremely different from what yours is. It's okay to eat plant. It's okay to have animals in a vegan diet uh, as long as you do your best you can. Is that was that understanding? We have to work within the realms of what's practical and what's practicable. In other words, if for some medical reason you have to consume dairy, no vegan's going to sit there and say, oh, you're not vegan anymore. That's nonsense. But again, for the vast majority of people, they can easily consume only plants. See, that's the point here. There are some exceptions. To, to, there are some wiggle room, if, you know, depending on the person's needs. But you don't need to eat animals, do you? Do I need to? Yeah. I mean, I think I need to. I feel like Why biologically we need to. Why do you need to? Um, do you, do you think that animal fat has helped the evolution of humans? No, nope. I think animal fat gives us heart disease and cancers. Uh, it does not help us anymore at all today. I think in gluttony, I think in gluttony maybe that's true, but I don't know do, if that's... Do you, do you think you could, one could be healthy as a vegan? That is a good question. I don't know. I've never been vegan to check my health. I, I would only be able to take um, opinions okay. of other people. So how can you possibly know that you need animal fat? Um, I mean, that's a fair point. But um, do, do, do you feel like that in agricultural production, the animals aren't harmed in the production of vegan food? <laughs> There's no such or thing as vegan crops, okay? No, 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 understandable. The crops that grow, that grow for human, for us, for me, grows for you and your animals. By the way, most crops are grown for the animals that you slaughter and abuse. So, if you if you're so concerned about the animals that die in crop fields, go vegan, because vegans kill less crops. Yeah, I was kind of waiting for you to tell me that. I, I was kind of waiting for you to tell me that because I harvest a large percentage of my meat myself personally, as in fish and hunting and whatnot. So how does that make me a part of the industrial? You're still slaughtering innocent beings who don't have to be slaughtered. You're slaughtering. doing something wrong when you can easily just eat plants. Do you think that that requires you to judge me in that manner for the animals that I harvest for myself? Yes, I think what you're doing is wrong because even you know it's wrong to slaughter dogs, right? Do you think it's wrong to slaughter dogs? That's not really in, in part in the question. It is, it is the question, right? If you were starving, you, would you eat a dog? Look, do you think it's wrong to slaughter dogs, yes or no? No, I don't think it's right. If, if you were starving, would you eat a dog? If I was starving and had no other option, of course, but we're, neither of us are starving here, right? So let's get back on track. You agree that slaughtering dogs is wrong, but you think it's okay to harvest, what, the fish and the chickens, whatever. Well, what just what's the difference between those two beings, the dog and the chicken? You understand Why? in other countries, dogs are harvested and eaten, and it's okay and acceptable. Not that. in my, well, not in my not view, but it to, is done. I'm not, I'm not talking to other countries. I'm talking to you. What in your ethical framework suggests it's okay to slaughter chickens but not dogs? Well, there's, there's a. Do you not understand what a companion is and what uh, uh, an animal is for harvest? Well, fish could be companions. Chickens could be companions. Cows could be companions. But wild yeah. animals are not companions. But they could be. But they're not. But they could be. Just like some dogs could be companions, some can't be. Some aren't. I mean, I wouldn't eat a wild dog either. If that, if that would help the argument, I wouldn't eat a wild dog either. Are you saying the only one... So what you're saying is the animals that are not companions we get to slaughter, correct? No, that's not exactly what I said. So well, then what justifies slaughtering chickens or cows but not dogs? They're companions. 
it's a it's a part of your companionship. It's okay. not it's not right. meant so, to sustain you. So what you're your, saying is, if they're a companion, you. So what you're saying is, if they're a companion, you can't kill them. But if they're not a companion, you get to kill them. Correct? Uh, sustain yourself? Yes. Yeah, you do. Okay, so all the animals that are not my companion, I get to kill, correct? I mean, we've even used our our, our companions to harvest other animals. I'm not uh, sure. Oh, yes, yes or no. Any animal that's not my companion, I get to kill, correct? If that's what you're into, I guess. <laughs> No, it's no. not. It's not what I. Of course, about, of I'm course, I don't. About, I'm, I'm asking about your ethics, right? In your eyes, would it be okay for me to kill any animal who is not my companion? No. Okay, so then you can't use the companion argument, right? Well, you asked me why we don't kill our companion. We not don't companion. kill them because they're our partner. companions. What? We don't harvest dogs because they are our companion. You asked me why we don't harvest dogs, and I said because they are our companions. Hey, okay. so then what you're saying is it's wrong to kill a dog because they're our companions. But then that would make sense to, for, you, for you to think that it's okay to kill the animals that are not companions, correct? Yeah, no. I mean, that's a complete different. It's a okay, complete different. So then, complete so then different. whether or not they're companions, it's still wrong to kill a dog, correct? Or an animal, correct? Yeah, it's even prosecutable. Oh, oh, okay. By the so law, then, you can so be then, prosecuted so by it. So then your entire argument collapses. It's not okay to kill a, a, a chicken if they're not a companion. So, are you vegan now? I mean, no, no. Biologically, okay, do you okay. feel... So, so then what justifies slaughtering animals? Or back to square one. I mean, biologically, do you feel like your teeth and your mouth aren't meant for meat? No. I mean, maybe your mom's mouth is meant really? for my meat. But... Really? Because you would tell it you're going to hand it, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to sustain a tiger on broccoli? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Pope, but we don't have to consume animals anymore. We don't have to be cavemen. We have we stores. Have oh, you sound really sophisticated when you say that. It's so vegan. Like, I, do you know where veganism comes from? I want to ask you a few questions. Do you know the history of your 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 beliefs? Do you do you follow the Itals at all? Do you believe in Do you believe in the Ital in the Ital believing of, of veganism? Or are you like the American '60s version of veganism? See, the I'll come up here all huff and puff. Woo. I'm going to get the vegan and then just whoop, run away. They cower away. Why does it matter what veganism comes from? You're slaughtering somebody who didn't have to be slaughtered. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, we'll justify slaughtering animals. All right. Hold on. I got I got a uh, a question for you actually if you don't mind. I can answer that here in a second, but I got a question for you. Hold on, I got bad service. All right. Can you hear me still? Unfortunately. <laughs> All right. So in your in your definition of veganism, I know this is obviously a little bit of an oversimplification, but veganism is described as, you know, basically just doing everything you can to not support the exploitation or unnecessary killing of animals, correct? Yeah, it's also maintaining animal rights. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but but for the most part, that's, you know, the definition. So my question is, <clears throat> as so do you do you grow any of your own food? No, do you can you can you, get you have any type of so can you actually address the, the, the argument oh, here? I, 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 like what? 
What what, what do you justify oh, starting it's, it's coming around with this community? It's it's coming around. So what, what if, you're, if you're vegan and animals that you don't have to slaughter. Hold on, I'm 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 making a point. If you'll just give me a second, I'll I'll get to that. Look, but if you'll look, give me a second, look, look, I already what I'm saying I is, as point. a vegan, I already, I've been doing this for a long time. I already know your point. You're going to talk about the animals and crop fields. If you don't grow your own crops, you're killing animals and crop fields. All the mice, all the bees, all the bees. The problem is that you're forgetting that we don't see that as an animal rights violation. We don't control what happens in crop fields. We don't control that. So I know you're going to go to this stuff, but just because a vegan doesn't garden doesn't mean they can't be vegan. And it doesn't mean you're doing better. Because you're intentionally harming others, you're intentionally taking away their rights to life. You're exploiting them. I'm not. You are. So what justifies exploiting animals? Sorry, you, you had me muted. Um, so my point was earlier, you said that, you know, it's it's not OK for for somebody that, you know, say goes to the supermarket and and buys, you know, bacon, pork, whatever, that it's not OK because they're paying for those animals to be killed. So those animals that are killed in a crop field that that wouldn't need to be killed if you were supporting yourself with a garden or. I, I, I understand that it's not practical yeah. for everybody. You know what I mean? But there's still going to be animals. That's, dying that's unnecessary. Killing Justin, Justin, there's still going to be animals dying when you garden. Might be worms or bugs or insects in the soil. That 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 is not relevant to veganism. But what I'm saying is we're talking about beings that you can ex that you should stop exploiting. Right. Taking away their rights to life. In the case of growing a garden or growing crops, you're going to need to use pesticides. You're going to need to use these things uh, in, in, in that we have the right to protect our crops as human beings. We have the right, right to protect our crops. We shouldn't have to just all be all, uh, you know, not use any pesticides because it, there might be a mouse that, that might come in. And that's ridiculous. Just like if you went to my garden and stole my crops, I would protect myself from you and put pesticides <laughs> to harm you. So let's stop using this crop death argument, it's bad. We think it's it's perfectly okay to grow crops because we have to just survive. And it's not a rights violation to protect your crops. So what justifies slaughtering and exploiting animals that you're directly slaughtering and killing when you don't have to? So that that's my entire point is that Answer those, my those animals don't, to my question. don't need what to justifies, be killed. So what justifies slaughtering animals that you don't have to exploit? I'm I'm asking you to answer my question because my question is that you don't you don't have to to <laughs> We have to grow crops just in to survive. If we don't grow crops, humanity dies. Stop appealing to this perfectionism where everybody has to be perfect or else I won't change. That's absurd. All slavery has to be abolished for me to get rid of my slaves. This is what you're saying. The world is not going to be perfect. And that's what, not, not what veganism means. It means doing the best you can. And you're not doing the best you can. You're doing the worst you can. Stop it. How are you doing, Mike? Hey. So, can you help me understand that argument? Because um, you said that we are taking the right to life to animals. Is that correct? I mean, I'm not familiar between being like explicitly vegan or, or vegetarian. You know, some people use them interchangeably. So, you know what veganism means? That's what I'm saying. Like, there's so many opinions that I don't. Do, know. So, Pepper, do you know what veganism means? Veganism doesn't that come from vegetables? I might seem ignorant, but can you... <sighs> let 
look guys you know you should be you should know at least what veganism means before you come up here i really i mean i could educate you but i really don't feel like it right now <laughs> but veganism is not a vegetables it's about doing the best you can to minimize reduce exploitation and suffering of the animals and maintain their their rights to life and be free Extremely rude. Uh, what's rude is stuffing a pig in a gas chamber. That's rude. Yo, what up, Mike? Hey, how old are you? 18. What year were you born? 2005. What month? November. About to be 19. All right, what do you got? Uh, so basically, I'm not vegan because meat and animals provide extreme nutrient density to the point where it makes it worth it. Yeah, that's laughable. Meat does not contain many micronutrients. All it contains is fat, protein. The most the most nutrient dense foods are things like potatoes, vegetables, fruits. Potatoes are, are you trolling? Did you just say potatoes are the nutrient dense? Yes, but you got to sweet potatoes, vitamin, sure. Vitamin, no, no, sweet potatoes, potatoes are great. Got a bunch of vitamin A and stuff. Bro, potatoes. Potatoes have vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C. They have uh, vitamin K. They have minerals like potassium, calcium, all those minerals too. Meat has a bunch of lard and protein, which your body don't need. Secondly, Brother, salmon has dead. so much nutrients. It's ridiculous, bro. The omega threes, bro, the protein. Okay. Bro. You can get all those Unmatched. things from plants. Unmatched. You can get all those not, things not from without plants. getting an extremely processed. Bro. You're not going to come up you here. Walk yeah. Yeah. Shh. You're not going to come up here and yap, 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 yap. You're forgetting the point that we can be healthy as vegans. We can get all the nutrients we need from vegan foods. Do you agree? Go ahead and repeat that for me. Listen this time. Do you agree that we can get all the nutrients we need as vegans sufficiently? Not without an extremely processed diet, as I was saying. Have you ever walked through the vegan <laughs> aisle at a store, my boy? Sir. No, 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 no. Steven, Would you look Steven, at the Steven, Steven, stop it with the process. There's nothing. First of all, there's nothing wrong with being processed. Second of all, no, no there is, bro. There's there plenty of studies showing. There are whole food, plant-based vegans who don't use any processed foods, and they're also healthy. Okay, you can still be vegan and not get <laughs> processed foods. Wait, so let's get back to the, the ethical debate here. What ethically justifies slaughtering animals when you can be healthy as vegans and you can get all the nutrients you need? Well, no, uh, you, you, you're, you're, you're trying to just shrug it off, but I'm arguing that you can't. Uh, that, that's the point where that's the point that I'm making. Okay, you're talking where's about your, a, where's your scientific you're referencing, source? You're referencing a huge minority. Where's your scientific source? Can I finish minutes? one? Where's your scientific source that demonstrates I can get nutrients? Go, let's, let's hear it. Man, look at the comments, bro. Stop muting me, bro. All right, um, so as I was saying... What's your scientific source that I cannot get nutrients? What's his scientific source? So go ahead and answer. So I asked you a question first that you haven't answered. I asked you, have you, you have ever... a scientific walked? source that shows I can't get all my nutrients? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I asked you a question, you asked me a question, we'll get Steven, there, bro. But let's Steven, start, let's start Steven, with uh, question A. Steven. In order to win this debate, you have to provide a source that demonstrates I can't get nutrients as a vegan. Can you do that? Certainly, but first I'm going to need you to answer one of my questions. Can you do that? No, answer my question first. <laughs> All right, bro. So let's. Uh, I, 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 what's the point of me answering your question if you're not going to listen to anything this I say? Bro, if I can't, if I can't you... ask you a question, let me let me answer your. Your entire argument hinges on a source. If you don't have a source, your argument collapses. That's why it's important. What's your source? That vegans cannot get new proper nutrients and they have to eat meat. All right, let me ask you a question. <laughs> yeah. There is no such source. Vegans get all the nutrients they need, in fact, better than meat eaters because we can get supplements. We can get fortified foods. We do eat vegetables and fruits, which are way more nutrient dense anyway. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. How about yourself? 
Good. Okay. Um, so then I'm just kind of wondering because how is being a vegan being any different than not? Now, and can, can real quick, let me just uh, kind of ask you that ask you this. Like, do plants not die? Plants are not sentient. So it's like, you know, what difference does it make? You know what sentience they provide means? You know what it, sentience it means? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. They listen. No, so, no, I, you're yes, not I know, but, this shit. I'm so tired of this. People making the same argument every day. Plants die too, but they're not sentient. They don't feel they're plants. Number one, number two, vegans kill less plants. So if you care so much about the plants, go vegan because vegans kill less plants. They kill less animals. They kill way less environmentally speaking too. So come up with a better reason to slaughter and grape an animal. Because we can do the same thing to animals like we can do to plants. What? What is that? Bro, mean? we raise animals to eat them as well. We raise okay. plants to eat. We grow plants to eat them. How is that okay. any different? Well, if I grew humans to eat, would that be okay to you? Um, I'm going to have to say no. Okay, so what's the difference between harvesting humans for their meat versus a cow? Um, you might actually have a point there. So, but in the same fact, it's still the same thing. They can still be grown and they can still be eaten. So I just don't okay, understand yeah. where so the virtue. I, 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 I just don't. I just. I just don't understand where the virtue signaling comes iron. from. Iron. I can put you in a in my farm in my backyard and harvest your body. I can do that tomorrow. So, the problem is it's immoral, right? Just like with a cow, harvesting cow for their meat is also immoral, just as it's immoral. Immoral farm. morality is subjective in that term, so I don't want to hear that either. I, I agree. It's subjective. It's the same thing. This is called exactly. an internal critique. Do you know what an internal, an internal critique means? Where you're, I'm assuming where you're just kind of criticizing what you're looking at within yourself, right? Or within whatever it's, subject you're doing? I'm critiquing your, yeah, I'm using your ethical framework to critique your own okay. self, right? Gotcha. So okay. I'm okay. asking you questions about your ethics to see if you're consistent. Okay. You agree with me that it's wrong to harvest humans, but it's okay to harvest cows. Do you agree? Uh... Do we not harvest humans, though? I'm asking you if it's okay to do to do, to do with humans versus cows. Uh, mm. maybe. You think it might be okay to harvest people for their meat? <laughs> do we not harvest them for their intellect? All right. Have a good day, Aaron. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to build some patience. Hey, how are you? Hey, Mike. How's it going? Good. <laughs> Hold on. Just, you me? Are you the same Justin that was just up here? Ah, yeah. I'm going with a different approach this time. <laughs> Bro, you didn't listen to me last time. That's why your argument's bad. You, you didn't listen to me. You just wanted to advance your own narrative. Uh, what I see is a contradiction in the vegan framework. That's what I see. So the contradiction would be like, you guys uh, like think that you should protect animals. But, um, so. <laughs> now, what are you talking about? What do you think veganism means? Well, it's an ideology which um, sort of like as it relates to like um keeping animal rights <laughs> within a practical scope like as long as it's like a pragmatic scope um you should like put enough more consideration into animals uh not really 
I mean, what do you mean harder? <laughs> it's a, it's really, it's more maintaining animal rights and reduction and minimization of slaughter and exploitation and suffering of the animals. We are living in a pragmatic scope. So like as long as it's practical. So what do you justify slaughtering animals? Oh, there's like certain studies that say that like meat um, has like certain types of proteins. Like it's like very new like research that suggests that like you cannot find the same type of protein. It's called a BXR protein, which is found in certain types of meat proteins, which you cannot get from like plants. BXR, okay. Is this an essential thing? I mean, it's, it's benefit is very beneficial. So like it's attributed uh, okay. to like so, the, so, okay. So it's not essential, right? I mean, like the thing is like when you, when you like, like mo like your diet right now. I'm not looking. I don't see anything. I don't see anything like it. They called BXR protein. Can you give a source on that? Yeah, go to like. Um, do you know the Department of Healthcare? The Department of <laughs> Healthcare. What? What do you? T You're making <laughs> shit up, sir. Well, I'm not. Excuse. Excuse me. What you do you mean? The source. Like? To give a damn source. Yeah, the B. Is the BXR WT four dot com. It's like a new research. Yeah, this guy's. What do you mean? <laughs> BT4.com. <laughs> so embarrassing that they would lie just to just to look good. Yeah, we go. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, what's good, Mike? I like your debates about God, bro. God isn't real, by the way. Cool, man. What do you got? Uh, so, I think that exceptionalism can apply to this, just like, uh, as subjects as, like, abortion, you know? Um, me, we, you know, I mean, human history, we literally, as far as I know, I might be misinformed on this, but I'm pretty sure that we got our evolutionary track begun off of cooking me uh and granted i've heard your argument about saying that uh we don't have to do that anymore but just like abortion we don't have to abort children uh we can keep eating meat you know what i mean <laughs> what that's that's complete gibberish we don't have to have an abortion but we got what look what justifies slaughtering pigs and putting them in gas chambers what justifies that when you don't have to do that? Well, me personally, I don't support the, the whole gas chambers thing. I don't support torturing animals, but meat's got to get on the table somehow. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be consumed at all, right? What justifies consuming and harming animals for meat? Well, that's my point. It's exceptionalism, right? The same thing with abortion. You're killing, you're killing a being in, in utero. Stop with the fucking abortion bullshit. Abortion is a completely separate issue. It's a legal rights issue. It's not an ethical issue in my eyes. What justifies slaughtering animals that you don't have to kill at all, that you are causing to die? Uh, again, I go back to moral exceptionalism or whatever it's called, man. I mean, it's just one of those things that can be excused because it's literally we're omnivores, bro. We have the teeth to right. to eat meat and okay. plants. So we're omnivores, therefore we get to kill dogs. I don't think that it's technically you like you can. I think that it'd be fucked up for sure. Oh, Me, okay. I would so, personally so kill. So why is it wrong to slaughter dogs, but okay to slaughter pigs? What's the difference? Pigs are delicious. Okay, so if dogs are delicious, you would think it's okay to slaughter dogs, correct? I think so, yeah, probably. And especially but, if we didn't domesticate them and have a history of uh, okay. being companions with them, you know? Okay, now what if it was tasty to eat babies? Would you eat babies if they were tasty? <sighs> Billionaires do that every day. Um, no, 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 stop. Answer no, the question. hold on. I'm not excusing that. I'm not no, excusing no, no, that. No, 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 no. Answer the question. If if babies tasted good, would you kill them and eat them? That's tough. I didn't see this question coming. Um, <laughs> damn, bro. I don't know. It's cannibalism. No, I'd, I'd say no. 
I'd say that that's different because okay. it's cannibalism, though. So, okay, so then taste does not justify killing animals. Fair point. Uh, I'm st I'm like I st I'm still going back to to moral exceptionalism, though. You know, because it like like I said, I, I I know that you don't want me to bring it up again, but we excuse. Uh, look, I support abortion all nine months, but we technically are killing a life. All right, that's, that's indisputable. When it comes to abortion, my stance is that number one, it's up to a woman to choose. It's her body. It's her organs. It's her own organs. Nobody should control what she does with her fucking organs, period. Now, secondly, if we take a look at the empirics, banning abortion or restricting abortion access only causes more harm for women and children. The Texas abortion ban has been demonstrated through empirical studies that it has killed thousands of extra babies that didn't have to die. Why? Because of botched births. All these kinds of things. They're pushing all these babies with genetic disorders through the womb. And what do you expect to happen? They die shortly after birth. You're killing more women and children. So on both accounts, abortion is a right and morally justified. That's separate from veganism, which is looking at animal welfare. Animals who are outside of my womb. <laughs> That's a different story, right? You're causing harm to an animal that you don't have to cause harm to. Hello, Mike. How are you doing, my brother? I really hope you don't kick me because of my accent, because that would be extremely racist. But I think you may or may not recognize me. I want to talk about veganism today. Okay. All right. So, you know, veganism is a very subject matter of experts. Uh, I want to go dig into, you know, the... Uh, uh, excuse me, I, I see you a little bit smiling. Is that okay on your end? Or did you receive like a meme or what's going on? I'm okay, go ahead. All right, I, let's say I want like a hamburger today. What is the solution, the reputation for the replacement of a hamburger? All right, have a good day. <laughs> I can't. I can't take it. <sighs> Look, even if you don't care about the animals, right? Let, let's say you, you hate vegans because they're so, they, are, they love animals too much. And you're an animal hater. Okay, great. Do you care about humanity? Well, if you do, you should be also be vegan for humanity. Because veganism has been shown to help the environment. It's been shown to reduce carbon emissions. It's been shown to reduce pandemics, right? If you care about pandemics, stopping them from happening, go vegan, right? There, there are other effects that veganism can, can help outside of ethics. Um, there's no excuse anymore to not be vegan. There's no excuse. Venus flytraps are not sentient. Reacting to stimuli is not the same as sentience. Uh, my phone reacts to stimuli. When I touch it, it moves. When I touch it, it uh, the light, the, the 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 screen lights up. It doesn't make it sentient. Right? It's just merely reacting. It takes a neural circuitry, like a brain or a neural network, to process pain or feeling or sensations or process those experiences. Plants don't have that. 
They don't have neurons. They don't have brains, but we do, and animals do. And that's why it's different. Pushing your damn religion on others, trying to make them feel guilty. Well, I'm sorry, but you're pushing animals in gas chambers. You're the only one pushing your religion of meat on the animals. Literally, you're pushing them into factories. You're pushing them into gas chambers. You're pushing them onto fields that leads to them dying and being harmed ultimately. So let's stop pretending as if, oh, uh, you're, in the, you're the good guy here because, oh, Mike's just preaching. Well, look at what I'm telling you. And look at what you're doing to the animals and look at why, what I'm saying. I'm telling you, you don't have to do it, but you do it. Why? If I had a puppy in my hand and I started stabbing it with a knife, you would all be mad. You'd all be crying. You'd say, Mike's terrible. He's abusive. Stop hurting that animal. But you all do it to cows every day. Unbeknownst to yourself, it's hidden. It's secret what happens in slaughterhouses, but it happens and you're paying for it, right? That's all I'm saying. I'm not here to preach. I'm here to simply get you thinking. You don't have to be here. Animals see each other, but we don't have to. We have stores. We, we don't have to do what the animals do. Animals also eat their own shit. Should we do that? Mmm, shit flavor. No, we don't get our morality from animals. Mmm, cord flavor. The animals do it, so why can't we? Let's all get naked and walk around with barefoot. We don't do what the animals do. We have stores, we have rationality, we have the ability to choose otherwise. That's why we are not in every sense the same as the other animals. We are moral agents, they're moral patients. They don't have the ability to do otherwise. <laughs> Meat contains all the proteins. So do plants contain all the proteins you need. All plants have protein. And they do it efficiently. They give you protein efficiently. They, they, they have all the nutrients along with the protein and fiber and antioxidants, which meat doesn't have at all. Fiber is incredibly important for gut health, but meat has none. Antioxidants are very important for protecting against disease. Meat doesn't have it. And that's why vegans have lower rates of cancer and heart disease. You eat fiber with meat. Well, you're just making it, you're just canceling out the beneficial effects of fiber. Fiber protects the lining of your gut from cholesterol from things in meat that wreck the lining every day. Um, yet here you are thinking you're doing good, but ultimately you're just making no, you're canceling out the benefits. You don't have to eat more to get more. Uh, tofu has more protein per calorie than even beef there's no excuse you could get plenty of pr dense protein from uh, plants we're alone in this universe on one tiny planet why wouldn't we eat meat because the animals also share this one planet with us see you're forgetting that uh
the animals aren't just objects. They're sentient, they're thinking, they're feeling, they can dream, they have compassion, they can love. Um, why would you take away their right to life when you intuitively know it's you like life, you enjoy life. That's why you're saying that in the first place. Yet you're so eager to take away the rights of the animals. Why? You're disconnected from who they are. You're not thanking animals for the sacrifice. You are sitting there uh, privileged enough to sit there and at will pay for these animals to be slaughtered. You're not thanking them. You are taking them for granted. You don't appreciate them. You're slaughtering them, taking away everything they have, literally. So let's stop pretending as if you're doing good there. We eat animals because we're omnivores. Okay, so what's on the menu? Dogs? Oh, I thought you said we're omnivores. We eat animals, right? So dogs, right? We can eat dogs. How about humans? Can we eat humans? Humans are animals. Gorillas? Orangutans? Is that all on the menu? Because, oh, we're omnivores. No, we don't have to eat any animal. Omnivores don't have to eat animals at all. We could, but that's not the right thing to do. Problem is our lives have more value. Well, I agree that mostly speaking, humans have more value, but so does my grandma have more value than you. I think my grandma has way more value than you, a stranger. I would have protect my grandma's life over your life any day. But it doesn't give me the right to slaughter you if I don't have to. I still think we should maintain your rights. Even though I don't really value that much. See, it's not about the extent of value that goes beyond what's sufficient or it meets a threshold. Humans and animals are sufficiently valuable enough such that they shouldn't be harmed. And if you can't point out the difference, then you agree with me, right? That's how that works. We're arguing human life versus animal life. So well, we are animals, first and foremost, let's not forget that. But again, you, you have not listened to anything I told you. It's not about comparing values as much as it is about recognizing sufficient value. What about eggs? Eggs still are the products of an animal who didn't have to be harmed. <sighs> Look, eggs, although you think they're just eggs, and they are just eggs, but you're forgetting the process by which they are produced. Eggs have to be produced by hens. How do they make eggs? We inject them with hormones, make them fat and big. And we're constantly demanding them to make eggs for us. So the egg industry is inherently toxic and exploitative. We don't want it to continue. So although the egg is not sentient, the hen is who lead it. And that's why we think we should stop the egg industry from continuing. Dude, they're animals. They're here for us to eat. What makes you think they're here for us? What about them signifies that they're for us? 
I don't see a reason why. I think they're they're not here for us. I think they're just here. Uh, we don't have to consume them. They're not here for us any more than other humans are here for us. Plants have feelings too. No, plants don't have feeling. If they did, where's their brain? Where's a brain, right? You have feelings because you have a brain. You can process stimuli from in your neurons, in your synapses. Those are particular light signals that exchange throughout your brain. That's what feeling is. Plants don't have that. Plants don't have any kind of light signaling that remotely is close to what we have. Uh, the signaling of plants is extremely slow. It's very local. It does not transfer for its entire body. It can't go to a brain. There's no neurons at all. Now, I understand your concern about the plants all of a sudden, but you don't have to be. And if you are, still be vegan. Because vegans kill less plants. Any animal we don't currently eat will go extinct. That's not true. We don't have to let them go extinct. We can just maintain their populations outside of uh, farming them. But why would you want these animals to continue anyway? Imagine if we bred a species of humans who were purely dependent on other humans. Why would you want those animals to continue where they were purely dependent on being exploited, right? Like we exploit the animals. Why would you want those people to continue when their only purpose is to be exploited by somebody? Maybe they shouldn't have been exploited in the first place, such that they would be rendered dependent on us like the animals are. That's my stance on that. Um, I'd rather stop the exploitation than uh, let that kind of species proliferate when uh, inherently is exploitation. Where are my mods? <laughs> I'm not saying plants are not alive. They're not sentient. They don't feel. They don't think. They don't experience. That's a difference. Did you see Europa Clipper launch? Yes, I did. And, but unfortunately, it's not going to reach Europa for another six years. We're not going to get information back until another probably seven or eight years. But it's, it could be life-changing data. No animal is a food to humans. What do you do for work? Your mom. <sighs> Chickens and cows are food to humans. Well, you think they're food. I agree. You might claim they're food, but are they? Are they really food when there's no difference between chickens and humans? What's the difference? It's the same meat. It's the same protein. In fact, humans have tons of protein and tons of nutrients. Does that make us food? No. So why are chickens food when humans aren't food? What's the difference? If you can't point out a difference, we have no business claiming that they're food.
water plants food because they're not sentient and we have to eat them or we'll die. We have to eat something, right? So if we have to eat something, what would you rather eat? A non-sentient being or a sentient one who can feel and think and cry and scream? <laughs> I'm choosing the plant, right? It's that simple. It's that simple. This isn't rocket science. Is your PC prepared to play GTA 6? Uh, I have an i5 13600K with a with a Intel Arc A380 with six with 32 gigs of DDR4 uh, clocked at 3200 megahertz. So, yeah, mm, it might be able to play it barely, but I probably have to upgrade it a little bit more GPU wise. Plants are not food, you choose to eat plants. Well, to me, they're plants because they're not sentient. Now, do you think human... The problem with you is that you think humans are not food. So if humans are not food, but animals are, what's the difference? And if you can't point out the difference, you're being inconsistent. You're being wrong and hypocritical. I, I know this is extremely hard, but... <laughs> Just think about what I'm telling you. Just think before you speak. Think. Think about this. Who classified it as food? That's a good point. It's arbitrary what is food and what's not. The problem is that you are being inconsistent when you say plants are not. Uh, humans are not, but other animals are. That's the problem. You're being inconsistent. How about crop deaths? We don't control those things. We do not control crop deaths. Can you control what a mouse does when it walks onto a field and eats the, the pesticide-ridden food? No. You can't stop that. Um, we don't have mice controllers. We don't have brain chips for mice. We can't control their motions. Uh, they do what they have to. But we also have a right to protect our crops. So we have a right to put down pesticides. And uh, that's why we don't think it's a rights violation to grow crops. Just like it's not a rights violation to protect your house from a burglar. If I put a booby trap on my door in case a burglar came and a burglar comes by and, and, and tries to get my house and the burglar dies, that's not my fault. The burglar decided to break into my home. Uh, I, I'm not, that's not, a, that was not me taking away the burglar's right. That was the burglar trying to violate my property, my right to life. We're not talking about legality. I, I know some booby tracks are illegal. But we're talking about morality. Morally speaking, it will be justified. Protect your power. To, to protect, protect yourself. <sighs> Can we train carrots to swim? Thank you for putting up with all these wine meat eaters. <laughs> How do you retain so much of the information you learn? For me, it's been very... Uh, very, very easy for me to retain information. I, I learn very quickly. But uh, a lot of the information I learn, I am passionate about. I love learning about. So I think that's has, that has a lot to do with it. But uh, I love learning.
I'm not a Trump supporter. <laughs> well, actually, today, uh, speaking of politics, today, uh, Jimmy Carter, who was 100 years old, voted. Very happy to hear that he's he's been able to not only live through hospice, but he's actually able to vote for Kamala. This is probably his like 30th election. <laughs> It's 30. Imagine voting for like 25, 30 times. That's crazy. I only voted. Hmm. Only. Uh, wow. I only voted three times in my life. Three times. That's it. Two out of three of my candidates that I voted for won. So. I have a good, I have a pretty accurate voting accuracy. <sighs> mm, I, did not, I did not vote for Trump ever. I'll never vote for Trump. He'll never get my vote. He's a complete joke. What do you mean, why? He incited uh, resurrect, uh, a uh, insurrection. He incited that. He he did, was not willing to, to hand over the keys quietly and calmly. He's, oh, I, I won, I won. He didn't win jack shit. He doesn't know how to build a wall. He doesn't know how to do fix climate change. He has no idea about uh, LGBT rights. He's, he's completely off on almost everything he believes. He doesn't know how to run a business. He can barely manage his own crimes. How is he going to manage the country? He didn't build jack shit. If you think Trump is still a good candidate today... After all the things you've seen him do, commit crimes, felonies, uh, all the things I told you, completely disregard any science. He doesn't know science at all. All the, the grape he's done, all the assaulting he's done. And you still think he's a good person, let alone president? That's, I'm sad. I'm sad for you. But uh, that's all for politics today. I'm tired of it already. It's so draining to talk about that. <laughs> he was in Home Alone, yeah. I loved Home Alone, the first one. Oh, Christmas is around the corner already. Um, This November, I'm going somewhere... Uh, I, I'm going to have, I'm going to make lots of videos about it, but it's going to be quite, quite interesting to, to post about. I'm excited. Do you take vegan callers? Uh, not right now. I'm, I'm, I'm about to go anyway. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? You keep saying, Mike. <laughs> Thoughts on raw vegans? Uh, I, I, I think I try to do raw for like a year or something, but it, it's hard. It's hard to do. But uh, it's not an ethical thing, right? So it's, uh, it's just a diet. So to me, it's just whatever. Do you believe in Big Bang? <laughs> I guarantee you don't know what the Big Bang is. But yes, the Big Bang is a fact. It happened. We can still see it. Yeah, raw vegan. Yeah, everything you eat is uncooked. Yeah. I was I was like 80% raw for like a year. 
I mean, I'm, I'm still like maybe 30, 40% raw. I mean, um, I had a big salad today with fresh avocado, tomatoes, olives. Um, what else did I have? I had some watermelon, fresh watermelon. Does the Big Bang mean the universe is expanding? Uh, yeah, that's part of it, but there's a larger model. Why do planets orbit elliptically? Sometimes collisions, sometimes uh, the gravitational influence in other bodies nearby. Um, many reasons why. Tofu. Ah, oh, I do love tofu. It has to be seasoned correctly, but I, I do I do love tofu. Hi Ophelia, thanks for thanks for watching. Appreciate you all all vegans out there too. It's hard. It's hard to deal with all these non vegans. That's the worst part about being vegan. All the non vegans, all their incredulity, all their in ignorance and arrogance. Is there anything on the outside of the universe if it's expanding? Well, when you think of the universe, you're, you, you, you want to put a boundary around it, right? You want to think of the universe as a little ball and there's a black, or ex, a black expanse around it. That's not how this works. The universe would be everywhere. There is no boundary. We can't fathom that in our heads. But the point is that the universe was always infinite. It always will be. And there's no such thing as outside it. Now, it depends what you mean by universe, though. Some people might think the universe is everything. And if that's the case, then yes. By definition, there's nothing outside of that. But if you think the universe is our local space-time, well, clearly there could be other things beyond that, right? Um... So it all depends on what you mean by universe, and universe, the word universe is a very ambiguous word. Uh, the universe could be way larger than we observe. Vegans are judgmental. Uh, well, if I was sitting here with a puppy in my hand, stabbing it, you would be judgmental too. Right? You'd be judgmental too. If I was sitting with a dog on my lap and watching it bleed to, to death and you would be judgmental so that's how we see your actions uh, don't tell me you wouldn't care okay so you, you wouldn't care if i was killing a person you'd be oh that's, that's okay no of course you would care unless you're a crazy person <laughs> the point is that the reason why we're judgmental is because you are harming somebody that doesn't have to be harmed. So, look, just understand our perspective. I know it's hard, but just understand. Hey, Crystal, nice to see you. Keep uploading. No problem. Trust me, uh, YouTube has just, YouTube has just allowed three minute shorts. It just that happened today. So I'm going to upload all my tech talks onto YouTube and we're going to blow up. Cause I, I, I used to hate that. Like when you would, um, upload your TikTok to YouTube and it's like a vertical. I don't like that. It's so annoying. Right, who likes that? Watching vertical YouTube videos on YouTube? Who 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 actually likes that? Like in terms of long form. Okay. Trees send nutrients to the root system. And I send your mom nutrients through her 
you know what? <laughs> okay, look. Just because a tree can absorb nutrients or can uh, perform certain electrical signaling doesn't mean they're sentient. They're not sentient, guys. Plants don't have neural processing. They don't have brains. They don't have neural networks. Uh, they can't be sentient. I know this is what you guys are grasping onto. This is all you got, right? The best you got is, oh, vegan plants are sentient. Oh, no, they're not. And if they, if they were, it would still be best to go vegan. Vegans kill less plants. How do you feel about eating roadkill? Uh, well, in my eyes, whenever these questions arise, I ask myself, what would I do? How would I want to be treated? Right? Um, if I was roadkill, would I want somebody to eat my body? No. So out of respect, I don't eat other bodies. Uh, let alone the fact that it would be very dangerous to do that, to eat somebody's decayed body. Um, yeah, I, 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 look, I don't want to normalize it either. I don't want to normalize eating animals, right? It, it could be quite addictive to to uh, partake in that kind of thing To find sentience in a scientific way, higher neuronal processing, you know. particular strength of light signaling and through uh, action potentials. Prove shellfish are sentient. Uh, well, that's a that's a good point. Well, how about shellfish? Well, um, again, we don't know if sent, if shellfish are sentient. Some vegans might think it's okay. Some vegans think it's okay to, to eat shellfish. But I wouldn't want to normalize it. I don't want to normalize eating animal shellfish or any kind of fish because they're still animals. Um, but again, this is a gray area. Some vegans might disagree with me. But to me, I think it's still wrong because uh, it's normalizing it. And look, there are obviously degrees of wrongness, right? Some actions are less wrong than others. Um, problem is that that shouldn't be the main issue. The, the bigger elephant in the room is, you know, 90 billion animals that, be, that we slaughter every year. That's the bigger problem that people always love to avoid. Do you not wear shoes made of leather? I don't have any leather at all. My clothes, my clothes are vegan. My shampoo is vegan. Uh, all the products I use are vegan. It's not hard. It's not as hard as you think it is. I mean, uh, most most clothing is made of cotton or, um, you know, some kind of composite material. I I do use an iPhone. And look, you could always find. Uh, byproducts, microscopic molecules of byproducts here and there, of course. But you're forgetting that veganism is about being as practicable as you can. It's not about being perfect. Um, 
there's utility in having phones versus not having a phone. Even if there were animal products, even, even if there was a, a gram of a microgram of animal products in my phone, I would still use it because the utility far outweighs the negative, the positive utility far outweighs the negative utility. For example, my phone enables me to talk to you guys and help other people be vegan, right? So, so there's, there's lots of positive utility in having a phone that vastly outweighs any kind of negative utility that those molecules of animal products does. Why do you think Trump is smart in all aspects? He doesn't believe in God, but you hate him. Right, is that a serious question? <laughs> I don't think Trump is smart at all. I think he's a complete idiot, but that's besides the point. I don't hate him either. Uh, I don't hate anybody. Um, I just disagree with everything he says. What about cultures that are food dependent, like Korean culture? You want to destroy a culture? Well, what if our culture was cannibalistic? I wouldn't want that con that culture to continue uh, if it's not needed. So, um, yeah. No, I meant Elon. I don't think Elon is, in every aspect, smart. I think he's lacking in uh, empathy. I think he lacks in understanding of LGBT rights and issues. I think he lacks in uh, the ability to contextualize many social issues. But I don't think that he is bad because of that necessarily uh, in every case everybody has flaws even me so to sit there and demonize elon or even trump for that matter i'm not gonna sit here and demonize trump oh he's terrible he's terrible no he's just a person he shits he poops he pees just like you and me um look we're all people some of us have flaws most of us have flaws um but I don't think uh, screening off certain people from your political discourse is uh, the right thing to do in every case. Because, look, part of making the world a better place is tolerating other people. Tolerating other opinions. Tolerating other views. If we sit here and... Uh, bask in this polarization oh it's the red versus blue and there's no in between or you're either with america or against it if you're if you have that kind of attitude we're never gonna progress forward we're always gonna be stuck in this civil war mentality right we should not contribute to that we should not be doing this what we, should, what we should be doing is understanding each other more. And yes, understanding our flaws, but understanding the good. Look, in all sides of the political spectrum, there is good. It would be dishonest to sit here and say, oh, every person is bad in every aspect. But instead of fighting and complaining so much, why not talk? Honestly and patiently. See? There's a better way to do it. <laughs> God is real. Where is it? Where is this thing? Show me. I, I, I'm, I'm very open to there being a God. I'm very open. I just want evidence. I just, my standards are high. I have high standards, right? It's like going on a date. It's like, it's like looking at your potential, uh, you know, mates. I'm open to anybody. I just have high standards, right? Just like when it comes to God, I'm open to the evidence. I'm open to God existing. I just want good evidence. Um, and yeah, just look around you. He's not going to cut it. 
or look at how our bodies work. That's not going to cut it because there's countering ideas that supersede your ability to explain those things or at least match it. In every case, we can match the theistic view with some naturalistic view and explain the same thing or at least be equally as parsimonious. So there, there is no... explanatory requirement or need or even inclination to to uh, invoke a, a god at all I'm 29 years old. Want evidence for the paranormal? Look for it. Okay. Where are you ghosts? Or show yourself. I'm looking for you. What, what else do I got to say? Alakazam? Walakazam! Go, ghost, go! Okay, well, that didn't work. See, see, see? see the, your experiment failed. Uh, you need better. We need better. If the ghost showed, that'd be great, right? If I could say some, you know, goofy line and the, the ghost comes and shows, great. That's a fantastic experiment. If we can do that over and over again, great. Imagine every time you said, Alakazam, a ghost appeared. That would be great evidence of ghosts. But I'm sorry. Um... That's never, that's not, it's not happening. Do you think iRobot will become a reality? It already is. Uh, but not the way you think. We're not going to die. We're not going to be destroyed by robots. But uh, I think that they will be integral to our lives, they will be dominant. J.K. Rowling is a hateful person. See, this is what I'm talking about. In today's world, people are so quick to hate. Anybody who disagrees with them, they hate immediately. And look, I understand where you're coming from. I agree with you. J.K. Rowling is not a very good person she's wrong but to think to to completely omit the beauty of the art and just talk about jk rowling and how bad she was that's so sad you're missing the the art you're missing the story you're missing the art you let politics get in the way. Um, and this is what we're seeing today. We're seeing people who... This is causing polarization. Right? The Trump people hate Kamala. The Kamala people hate the Trump people. Everybody just extremely hates each other. Uh, look, uh, I understand where you got, you're coming from. You're you're right. She is causing pain in people. You're right. But somewhere along the line, everybody is causing pain in some way. The better solution is not to just sit there and complain and point fingers at her and say, oh, she's bad. But maybe understand where she's coming from and talk to her about it. Talk to other people about it. Converse. Politely and patiently explain why she's wrong to other people. That's all we can do is talk to her. Right? Complaining doesn't do anything. What what's what's your what's your solution to fixing this? Complaining? I don't think so. I think that's not gonna do anything.
everybody got better along in the 90s? Uh, well, yes, but also for the wrong reasons. You're right that in the 90s, 2000s, it was great. People got along with each other, but underlying that was people who were still hateful deep down. What we're seeing today, because of how anonymous you can be on social media, we're seeing people express themselves more. And we're also seeing with that people's deepest thoughts becoming public. See? Um, so although what you see on the surface is tons of polarization, I think we're still progressing. I think that people are more willing today to be vulnerable. Um, they're more willing to be wrong, even. Um, so I, I do see progress still occurring, even though people got along better in the 2000s. I still think that we're in this phase where, although there's lots of polarization, there's growth. It's just a, a tough growth, right? Um, so, although yeah, I look back and, you know, those are good times, I think that there's still optimism to be had. But yes, I do agree with you that the, the technology of the 2000s was great. Uh, very different environment. Uh, amazing time to, to be alive. But so is today. It's just that we take it for granted. <laughs> we we become so comfortable with this these luxuries that we take it for granted. We we, we expect so much more. We you know we um we're, we're so willing to fight uh, because we have no other you know pastime. Um. We're chronically online, right? So we're, we've embraced technology so much that we, you know, we become sick of it. Uh, instead of using it better, instead of appreciating what we have and using it for the best, we, we've made it toxic. Um, but we can still change. Right? We can still do better today. The good news about time is that it doesn't stop. Um, you can always do better. You can always change for the better and make more memories. Just imagine if we weren't so polarized today, right? Just imagine if instead of seeming so much fighting, you saw online people debating politely, patiently, asking questions. Imagine that. Everybody would be way happier, right? It's not too untenable to get that kind of world. It is very possible. It was just that... It's just that we were like children that have been given a brand new technology and we're, you know, we're throwing it around, we're, we're bashing it against the wall. It, we just have to learn how to use it correctly. We're not doing it correctly. Uh, a, a large solution to this is science literacy. Science, exactly. Science is not just a subject in class that you have to get by and get the, get the good grades in. It's a way of thinking. It's a way of asking questions. It's a way of uh, talking to people about solutions and problems. It, it's a way of life, actually. Science is more than just a, a test on a, in a school. 
or you know name this tree or name this animal that science goes way deeper than that science changes the way you think um and that's what we're lacking today we're lacking that thought process people are uh, people have in the, in the in this way devalued the truth not that they don't like the truth they think that it's worthless because they can just say whatever they want and act like they are truthful act like they have the answer anybody with an influ uh, you know influence online can be given a voice and given power right and and you can have an audience that confirms your biases See, that's the problem. People have lost touch with that scientific discipline that tells you to, wait a minute, maybe you are being biased here. Uh, wait a minute, maybe you're asking the wrong questions. Or, wait a minute, maybe you have no source for this. That's what we're lacking. We're not lacking uh, information. We're, we're lacking the, the thought process behind that information, uh, analyzing. 